Um, hello guys, this is Little Skippy. We, I am here with Al Spath on Full Flush Poker. We are waiting for a single table tournament to kick off. <coughs> so, when that happens is when you guys will uh, see me throw a table. Oh. It's going to happen pretty good, Skip. we got 9 of 10, and uh, I'm sure that our listeners out there are interested in, to know what, what's been happening this week with you. Since our last session, um, have you had a chance to look at any more videos that I put up on uh, Al Spath channel and YouTube? Uh, yes, I have. And? And um, I've looked at the heads up ones, and uh, like because I honestly believe that one of the weakest portions of my game is my heads up play. So I've been looking at those and learned a few things and they've also helped me when it comes to like the cash videos because I've played a little more cash lately well let's 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 focus on tournaments first did you get your homework assignment was to play some some tournaments this week and be more aggressive and not to put chips in when you think you're behind but only put the chips in when you thought you were ahead how did you fare this week in the tournaments overall give give everybody an idea of how things have been going? Actually, I ran a I ran a stream a couple of days ago in the in the AM. Um, actually, it was Tuesday morning, last Tuesday. Right. I, I ran the stream, and uh, I got it in with kings, and didn't do so well. And then the my knockout hand of one of my tournaments, I played like three of them, and I got it in with aces, and the guy hit a king. The guy, like, had two kings and hit his king on the river. Oh, boy. Yeah. Literally, he rivered the king. And I'm like, are you serious? I get it in, I get it all in good, pre-flop with aces, and the river bites me in my butt. Okay, but how about your successes this week? You know, you're going to get those beats when you have the best of it and you get it in good, you know, with, with your aces or kings and stuff like that. But how about uh, some tournaments that you had some success? Tell us about that. Uh, well, I was in this uh, this 500 Sunrise Tournament. It's like a $3 and change, $4 buy-in. Okay. And uh, I was going through the tournament, you know. At one point, I had like 1,500 chips. And then I hit a streak of cards and became up there. Was top of the leaderboard for about, I'd say, three-fourths of the tournament. I actually found this guy that literally in the early stages during the rebuy period was just donking with any two. So I was able to exploit that. It was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. But uh, all in all, by the time it was all said and done, I had uh, took in third place for $80 for like a, I think I invested eight. So I made eight times for 80. Eight. That's not a bad return of investment. Uh, have you had an $80 win in the previous? Uh times you've played this game um not as far as tournament goes okay and and overall in your cash games this week <coughs> uh overall are you my, up or down overall in my cash games i'm up but not by much i mean i start with ten dollars on a five cent ten cent table right um i actually was completely ill intelligent should have walked away because at one point i was up to 19 uh, double up and get up. Double You're up. <laughs> and then, I, of course, I'm like, oh, let's push our luck, you know. And then, no, didn't work out too well. It was uh, one of them things where I ended up, I mean, I did I did leave $2 ahead, but I should have left $9 ahead. So if we went back to last Sunday when we had our first session, and although we had homework assignments and everything else, <clears throat> would you say your bankroll is higher now or lower than it was last week. Last week when we started, mm -hmm. um, my bankroll was, you know, somewhere in, it, it's definitely improved. Like okay, so it, it's on the plus side. You don't have to share with us exactly the amount or anything like that, but it's gone up, and you're feeling better at the tables. You feel like you've got some more tools in your toolbox to, to maneuver what what, against uh, tougher opponents, do you feel like you're you're feeling comfortable there, being a little bit more aggressive? Yeah, I mean, of course, I still got these small leaks like 
maybe Ace Queen is good, maybe Ace King is good. You know, right. a, the reason I call them links is because okay, you get it in with Ace Queen, which is not a very bad hand, but it's not the nuts. Also, like, so like any pair can honestly beat you. I mean, a guy with twos, for instance. Oh crap, he's got twos, and technically, if you don't hit an Ace or a King, twos kill both hands. You know. Right. Well, so. you're, you know, you're not trying to get it all in with Ace Queen uh, early in the tournament because, of course, it can get snapped. Mm -hmm. And late, you want to defend with it, of course. But there's times when the Ace Queen or even a pocket pair needs to be thrown away when you're just about to move into the money spot or move up, and you're in good position. There's no sense, you know, jeopardizing where you're at. So it all depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. The old answer. When people ask in, in poker, you know, what about this, what about this, the old answer is it depends. Everything can be answered by it depends because of the fact, you know, the circumstances dictate whether the ace queen is good. For instance, you know, you're in middle, you, you're a, you've got a middle stack, uh, let's say in a tournament, you're, maybe you're in the money or close to the money, but you're comfortable, in, you know, with big blinds, you maybe have 20, 25 big blinds, medium stack. And somebody before you who has a big stack raises with a hand and they happen to have ace king, but you don't know that, but they're under the gun and that's one of the hands you think they have. Well, ace queen is, is a throwaway hand in that situation because you don't want to venture in against somebody with a pair. They're ahead of you and ace king is ahead of you. Why do it? You're a medium stack. You're in good shape to move up when you do have an opportunity. But if you're first in... And you raise with the with the ace queen. That's a different story. So there are times, depending on the situation where you're seating and what other people do and how much money they are. And in that case, the example I just gave you, the the ace king or whoever that was. Um, here's your table. Go ahead and get it up while I'm talking here. Yep, I'm gonna uh, work on that right now. All right. So um, are you? Uh, Taking care of business there. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm getting her up right now. Okay. okay. Bam, bam. Remember, you have to get the table up, and then you have to go to properties. Say okay. Yeah. That's read the right table. And then preview and then start stream. It's the not stream streaming already yet. started, so basically what I'm doing is just adjusting the table here. Okay, so it is streaming then good. Thank oh, you. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, it's already going. I'm gonna full. Uh, I just folded ten queen off. Okay. Queen ten. Um, off. I'm I'm not looking. Um and uh, give me I, ten seconds here. Okay. For those that are watching, uh, to, to skip his left happens to be a real easy player to beat. His name is Teach. Uh, that's me. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am in post and fold. You're not seeing my cards. I'm not going to play a hand. I'm demonstrating something else, but I'm just going to be at the table and see who is aware at the table that I'm not even playing other than Skip. So is everything adjusted to your liking, Mr. Skip? Uh, yes, sir, it is. Can can you see my um, screen? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I can do that real quick. Uh, hang on, just a second. Uh -huh. The reason I wasn't looking at your screen was, you know, I was getting set up with, with, with my hand and everything else. I am not going to play, so therefore I am not colluding with him. I'm not doing anything with him. I'm just. Uh, observing so he doesn't have to say what his cards are. Everybody that's watching the video can see it, but I, I couldn't see it if I was at the table. I have to watch his, his sky. Now, if he gets knocked out, that's a different story. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, regardless of what I have, um, I'm not playing. I just use myself to help fill the table so we can do this broadcast. So, I play horses, of course, in this, and she's one of... Uh, the many folks over at Heartbeat Poker, uh, she wins that because she had position and she, whether she hit that hand or not, 
You got 1,200 chips, and Skip picks up a, an ace king here. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking about most definitely throwing in a raise. Okay. So you chose the pot size bet here because you wanted to offset the limper that came in first. If you hit anything else, you would have been putting in too little of a, of a pot. So now you don't give them the real proper odds. If they call, they're playing, they're calling marginal odds because it's it's expensive for them and they're out of position. You've also established your position here. So your heads up. I expect the check. But you get ready to do what you gotta do. And then I expect for me to do that. Because See, I, I, I I do I do like that bet there. Uh, in that you had one opponent. Um. See, this this for me is hard because him calling. I'm just going to do this and take my card. Take my free card. What do you think he has? I would honestly put him on like. Um. I don't think he honestly has a nine. I I would say jacks, something like that. So I'm actually going to do this. Wow. <clears throat> that's, oh. that's something else. You didn't know what he had, and the board is that coordinated. Wouldn't it have been better just to call? And if you won, you take. Don't get greedy. And take the money out there. Now you put yourself in a situation where you could lose the tournament. Yeah, I got I got a call though. I mean, okay. you I'm don't already... have to call anything. He's got ah, uh -huh. he's got you beat. You let him get there Damn. by checking. Yeah, I should have. I should have bet the turn. Absolutely, I should have. You got a barrel in this thing, and it would have cost you a lot less to barrel and find out that way than to do it the way than you to do check, it. check with the intention of calling off. Yeah. Right. Oh, man. Well, there's a lesson to be learned right in that. It's yeah. That early in a tournament, you can lose the tournament. You can't win the tournament if you don't have nothing, or if you only have one pair. One pair is not what you need in the game of No Limit. You need more than one pair. You, and you, you need let at it least go two. To the end where somebody got to see five cards. All right. So here's a an opportunity for you maybe to to get a hundred dollars back. Ah, oh, come on! Need a hundred bucks. Need a hundred. Can't give up. No, no. Know. Oh no. We have backup plans. Don't worry. Just no matter if you get eliminated or not, I want you to keep the table up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I play a horse only went to fifty two fifty. I don't know the reasoning behind her going so small like that, but it's almost like a bet that she wants to keep somebody else in. That's not the greatest flop for you. Although you hit top pair and you've got a redraw for a, a straight, so does everybody else that has a, has a queen. Uh, she hit two pair. She hit a full house. Ah, uh, uh, very nice so, hand. I play horse. Keep nice the job. table up. Oh, don't, of course. Don't leave the table. Of course. Okay. And um, hang on just one <laughs> second. All right. I'm going to tell people what I have, and you are going to play my hand. All right. I got 6-9 off suit. What do you want to do? 6-9 off suit there uh, is a fold, in my opinion. But can we check since we're yeah, big blind? Well, if we're, if we're big blind and committing 30 chips, yeah, we're going to check. Okay. Yeah, that's... Are we now, checking? Here, I I would probably lead out to represent a five. Really? What would you bet? Like two-thirds pot. What's that going to get you early in the tournament? Well, if somebody comes over the top, it gets me information stating that they may have better than what I got. Okay. And what else does it get you? It, 
could possibly get me a fold and more monies. <laughs> the, the the criteria you have king five offsuit. Mm -hmm. um, the criteria you need to use is how many opponents do you have, and do you think you can get them out or not? With how much should that bet be? I thought the bet sizing on your part was good. Now, what do you want to do here? You got four limpers in the pot. Oh, uh, what are our cards? A king five offsuit. There's 165 in the pot. It costs you 15. Uh, call the 15. Okay. You have king five offsuit. No diamonds. Uh, we're first to act. Throw like a like a. We can check. I Thank mean, you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that's what I mean. We got king five. Come on. That's right. Got, All right. Don't be can... thinking about what you can do, especially. The, oh, you always got to keep in mind. You do, are you folding here, calling? What are you doing? Um, I would with the king five. I would honestly fold because in order to hit a straight, I'd have to hit run a runner. Yeah. Hey, if these if these decisions are real easy, just take the real easy decisions. There's no contemplation or anything like that. Just just yeah. go ahead and and grab it and and go. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. but yeah. we don't get we don't want to get in any match that that is going to jeopardize, especially with with real bad cards and real bad positions. So yeah. You know, as far as I'm concerned, if, if it's not a quality hand, when I say it, you know, the cards to you, most of the time, it's going to be... You, you want to get out right get away. Out. I get mean, out. Get out of danger. Let other people mix it up. Let other people do the, the, mm -hmm. the devil's work for you. Yeah. A jack, nine. Jack of clubs, nine of diamonds on the button. If it folds to us... We throw a um, two thirds pot bet out. Where is this two thirds coming from? Basically, first to act. I know, but why two thirds? Why is it not three quarters like I've been saying? That's three, all. I'm so, sorry, three quarters is what I meant. But okay. now, now with this, because we have a limp and a caller, oh, yeah. we, we should just call. Call. We're calling because of the fact we have a lot of callers in and we don't think we can get them out with a raise because they have so many chips at this point. Mm -hmm. That's why you can call in that situation. Now, whatever you feel lucky devil is betting here, the king of the ten, you've got a jack nine. What do you want to do? There's 195 in the pot. It costs you 30. Uh, I would call the 30 and see the turn. What if you would have raised there saying that you had the 10 and if he had the king, maybe he doesn't stick around. If he comes or sticks around, you can give him credit for having the 10 and you still have a redraw at a straight. How's that thinking? I mean, that, that play sounds good, but then we've got the same philosophy where, okay, yeah, I could raise the 10 and he could. Now we have to fold because I, I honestly put him on a king 10. That's right. No matter if he has the king or the ten, he's still got you beat. Yes, yes. You now we got a fold. You. You've got ace king with ace of diamonds, king of spades, in the uh, in the hijack, cut off. Cut off. Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, we will raise uh, three fourths of the pot. Why three fourths? Not a pot. I don't know. I, I'm thinking three fourths is standard. That's that's what I would think. How many do you want people to call you, or do you want to get isolation on one person? Well, Ace King, of course, you want to go against just one guy. Then you want to make a bigger bet. Oh, you want like pot, pot. size bet versus and you want the, the pot two size pairs. bet? Because right now you give some people who got thirty dollars in the pot marginal. You know they got thirteen hundred dollars to play with. You. You're letting them come in for you know for forty five dollars. If you'd have done a a, a bigger bet, um, now, then, is this I play horse just making a move, or is this I play horse? Well, you have time? to determine that. Where is what is her position? What kind of a player is she? I've played her like once or twice in tournaments. So she's a good player. Uh, yes, and she, yes. And she, she's betting out of the big blind. So what do you want to do here? Do you want to call, re-raise? What do you want to do? I would just flat. 
if I was... I, I agree. You need to see if you got a green light or a red light. If no. she's got a pair or something like that, she's got you beat, and you've, you've got uh, Ace of Diamonds, King of Spades. What are you doing? Um, honestly, that, that would tell me slow down and um, fold. That's right. Not slow down, stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> slow down and fold. Slow stop. down means you just call. Stop means you get the hell out of there. All you right. Got... Most definitely. I well, I was folding to a board like that. Now, if it would have came differently, who knows? But that board. That's right. Get you, out hit of the there. The king, you hit the ace of the king, and she does the same bet. We got a king six offsuit here. That's what. Um, that's a fold. So if she bets like that, and you hit the king of the ace. You can, you know, she's more than likely, if you've got ace-king, she doesn't have aces and kings in her hand because the odds are are, are slimmer. you got ace-king again, ace of hearts, king of clubs. I'm not making this up, folks. <laughs> wow. This is the third time. Uh, but anyhow, if if she, if you hit something, what do you want to do um, here? I would think, uh, can we just... No, because that's pressing people in, so let's just go pot size bet. There you go. Now you're listening to what I told you a little bit earlier, aren't you? You yep. want to get people out yep. and to help define your hand and their hand by making a good bet. Mm -hmm. You got a quick call, a snap call there from the small blind. Poker me, whoever that is. I don't know if that's somebody everybody else knows. And again, you miss your ace king. But if the ace or the king comes off on the next card, it doesn't make a straight for anybody. But what do you want to do here? Um, Maybe. Ten I jack. would check just to see where I, I'm at, I guess. Okay. I would have bet there because you got to eliminate some players. Mm -hmm. so I would have mm -hmm. I would have bet. What do you want to do now? Now, I mean, everyone's checking around, so this is when I would personally myself throw out a bit of like um two thirds or half pot well wait 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 we only have 868 chips so we'll check oh we already nope, did you it said half pot i did half pot yep yep uh well we gotta show it down because if we shove we're probably getting a call to sevens. I think if we went all in there, it's 50-50 whether he calls or not. I, I really do. I, 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 I think, again, the same mistake you made was the turn bet. You wanted to take a free card or you want to bet a half a pot. Fire enough to convince somebody and be ready to make that action so that they believe you're not, you're not a miss. If I was playing you, I would have taken you for a miss. I got king six here suited. King six suited, I would probably fold. Right. Because our, our stack is dwindling and we got to wait for okay. a medium pocket pair. So, or so the leak, or what we found so far today, the leak has been you're not betting the proper amounts and you're mm -hmm. not thinking about you know, against one opponent. What If you combine your... Uh, if you combine your bets and make them bigger, you won't have to, not all in, but bigger. You can influence the person and get them out faster, so that at the end you're not in that questionable uh, area like you you put yourself in. I keep I keep hearing yourself, you know, being a little confused as to you know what what you want to do there, and, and I know the, the decisions come up pretty fast, but mm -hmm. which is understandable. And another thing that I'm even noticing from myself is. The two trouble spots I got into were overplaying Ace King. True. You know, I mean, unfortunately, when it boils down to it, either with not betting enough or not betting where I should have, whatever it may be. You got to remember, early in the tournament, when people have lots of money, you got to bet a little bit more, especially if you're out of position, to get people mm -hmm. out. Because people have a tendency to stay in and see cards early on. Ace of hearts, eight of spades. Ace eight, offsuit. Um, 
I would choose to uh, fold it because we're short. And there's, Absolutely. And there's, uh, let's see, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, six or so people left back behind us. You've got 12 big blinds. Okay, we got 12 big blinds as of right now? Okay. Hey, that's what you got to keep track of. Got 12 big blinds. So you're almost short stack. So you don't have the luxury of limping anymore, do you? No, you just got to have the luxury of push or fold. So we need to double up to get back in this match. We can't give up on this. Oh, there's no. I mean, last Point session time. I was down to what? Like right around here, actually. And came back to take second place. So it can it can be done. I was also real short in the beginning of my 500 um, a couple evenings ago when I took third. I mean, I, I was primed for second, but I, I made this absolutely Jack, crazy move. Jack, Jack of spades, eight of clubs. Fold. For anybody listening in, I'm letting little Skippy make all the decisions. I'm talking about him afterwards. I'm giving him some options, uh, but he's taking all the decisions. I'm trying to tell him my cards. We're sorry he got knocked out early, but so we kept the feet up because we didn't want this to be too short, and we wanted to give him the opportunity to possibly redeem himself at this table. Redeem myself through my coach. That's awesome. I I like that. All right. Now remember, the blinds went up to thirty sixty. Okay. Blinds went up thirty sixty. What are your cards? Jack of hearts, eight of spades, and how many big blinds do you have now after this hand's over? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's one, two, three, four. Somewhere in the neighborhood of what? Eight, nine. Seven. Yep, seven will be the answer, yep. Seven. So it's life support time. Well, you get we to see We can actually call. Check it, right? Yeah, check. Sorry, check. And we hit our eight, jack eight. Yep, what so do you want to do? This is where I would um, shove due to the fact that if somebody has two diamonds, they're hopefully not priced to call. We're hoping for a call. There it goes. Double your pleasure, double your fun. And there we go. Back in the uh, match. That's what we got to do there. Got a few more chips. King nine off suit in the small blind. We noticed as soon as you were crisp in your answer on what to do, I hit the button. I didn't wait. I didn't. There was no. There was no delay in my action. Mm -hmm. I wanted to feel it. The uh, pressure of the bet as mm -hmm. fast too. So what do you want to do here with King Nine? So far, you've got a raise and some callers. I would fold because there's a raise and two callers. Absolutely, that's, you're out of position. Your cards are yeah, bad. Yeah. Face raise. That's three negatives. Com completely out of position too. I'll say I play horse that's got a ace queen for better. She's got ace ten, which is better. She's got a full yeah. oak, but she's going to split it with Olar. I play horse is doing very well this morning. Ellen's a good player. Teach is she another one of your students, or just a friend throughout the year? Uh, she's a student in that she followed. And took a lot of the classes that I offered over at Poker School Online and weekend classes that I offer free in group sessions. You got four, three off suit. Oh, uh, we're going to fold. I'm not even going to see a flop with four, three on the button. There's a guy with Oops. short stack pushing. So you need to keep eye on all these stacks like feverish up there. See? Yeah. They're trying to get their money in. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Turn the quads. <laughs> That's two people out. <clears throat> Nine four off suit. Mm, I would fold again because I'm 
I mean, I'm on a position. That would be the only reason that and the cards ain't that good. I mean, yeah, I, I suppose I could see a couple more flops, but this poker me person raised. So, yeah. Wait, where he he raised from under the gun, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. That means he could be strong. Should be strong. That should, could be, should be. Should be strong. All right. For raising from under the gun like that. Not, you know, Ace Jack is probably the weakest hand he should have here. I would think more like Ace Queen is, is possible. Ace 10 is really bad. And Ace 6 is ridiculous. I agree, 100%. That's so when you play Ace Reg. That's when you get into trouble and you don't have a kicker or anything. You, got eight, you have an Ace Reg right now, Ace 3. Ah. Uh. I don't like that. <laughs> I think we should vote these three. We can't. We can't even really. I mean, I mean, but at the same time, look at how many people are limping. I understand they're bad cards, a hundred percent. No, we're just gonna fold. That that complicates things. I was overthinking. Just because they limp and they're losers doesn't mean you have to play like them. Exactly. I mean, I was kind of thinking, well, there is this X amount of money in the pot, you know. But then I think, well, I just tried to complicate things that I, I shouldn't have tried to complicate it. Nope. Don't overthink it. We were four places from the money. <laughs> yep. Yep. Kangs. Nice job. <laughs> and he... Two, two seven of clubs. We're, we're going to fold. Unless I was in my cash game where I could possibly make some dollars <laughs> off of that hand. Lucky Devil comes in for a, a min raise. It means they usually have a, a good hand. This later in the tournament could be that they've got a big hand here. I don't know how they play, so let's just assume it's at least uh, a big ace or, or a pair. I... If I had to guess at this point with just a min raise for myself, I would be like a probably eight pocket eights through tens. Um, it could be a big pair, but I I would say medium pair. Now the way he's checking, he's probably got something like ace eight or through like. You know, like East 10, somewhere like that. And the only the only reason I say that myself is because he's checking. How about you a know? Queen King? A Queen or King? King? Or East King? Well, the only reason I... Is he checking back to get a, to get a bet like that? Yeah, now, like, Queen X... He bet that like Ace Jack. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Jacks. Foo. I wonder what he did have, but that's quad, wild. Second, that's the second quad for that one guy. King Queen offsuit. King Queen offsuit. Is that your guess? I have King Queen offsuit. Oh, you have King Queen offsuit. Sorry. King Queen offsuit is. A, um, I don't. I personally don't like to play it a lot of times because I've gotten in a lot of trouble with it. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. If yeah. you play it, you can't flip. You'd have to raise. Yeah, so I, I would have. You, say, you yeah. would have to raise. I don't know. In tournaments like the multi-table tournaments, I've just I've gotten in literally so much trouble. To where well they're they're not great cards a lot of people think they're group one group two hands and they're not they're not up there with the, the big I, boys i think so, i i think i'd honestly place oh, them in like group three East king your king queen would have been the winner but you can't play it there because she you would have raised it there she would have re-raised you with ace king and then you'd have probably folded it because you knew she was better jack nine uh suited unsuited Unsuited. If I say it's suited, I'll tell you. Um, fold it. All right. If, if because, I say Jack Nine suited, then you'll know. But if I say just Jack Nine or Ace okay. King, that means it's unsuited. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, um, the, reason, the reason the reason I did that is because um you would have to raise in that position that we're sitting in. Right, and you don't, you just don't have anything. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, you don't have anything. <laughs> All right, you're given a queen and an eight off suit. I play horse here, um, with the queen eight off suit. Eighty one. Uh, we're gonna fold. Absolutely, no question. You're out of position. Your cards are bad. You're facing a raise. Yep, facing a raise. Next, start to do that every time you get the cards. Talk about your position, what the cards are, what you're facing. You got 10 6 off suit. We don't have to call here. So that's. No, we shouldn't call here. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to call here. Right. Bad cards, bad position. Yeah, you know. That's too negative. There's no I positive. Mean, nothing. You could have snuck in for a half, you know, a little bad, but. What what good is it? Yeah, if it's a, yeah you, we this. could have snuck in. Sorry for cutting you off, Teach, but we could have snuck in for a half pot bet. But then, okay, the flop comes the way it did. Yeah, we have a ten, but then so easily people can limp in with jacks, a jack, you know. Sure. A couple suited cards and happen to you know. King eight of spades. <laughs> We're in position, and um, I would probably raise like two thirds pot, in my opinion, to see just because there's a lot of people. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the max. I meant to hit the three quarter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, Peeps is calling you because they said good luck. Uh, it's okay. I mean, nothing oh, to do that. No, no. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> what do Look you know? Look at that. Look at that. That might, that might have been the right bet there and after all, huh? Maybe. Yeah. Just maybe. But your short stack, you put maximum pressure, not minimum pressure. King, queen, off suit. Uh, king, queen? Um, I would, I would shove it because then they have to have their maximum pressure. That's right. And yeah, you're, I play horse. You're almost, you're almost ten big blinds, and you might as well. Yeah, yeah fold equity by putting it all in there, putting yep. the pressure. Just and jam you it. Make a lot more hands work. that way than if you put a little bet in there, and they have a lot of chips they can call and see the flop. Mm -hmm. Queen three. It's a fold. Now you got fourteen big blinds. Yep. Stop saying two thirds. There's no such thing as two thirds on this site to do it. You have to. Figure it out. Three quarters, three quarters, three quarters or pot. That's where yeah, you live. I've, I've got to remember that. I, gotta, you know, three quarters is what I mean, so I don't know why I would I would say two thirds. you got to live in that territory. Three quarters and pot. This late in the game. You know, it's seven, ten off suit. Fold. Now let's watch other people here and see what they do. Because that's just as important as us folding. There's a good. Two and a half times the big blind bet. She's putting pressure with her stack on other people. She probably has a little something, something, but she doesn't have to have something good. I would say that she could have king nine, king ten here very easily. King jack. She went, again, with three quarters right out the bat. See how fast she bet that and put mm -hmm. the pressure on feverish? He comes over the top. Now she either gives it up or she pushes with her king if she has it. I don't think she just calls here. See, she folds. She she was putting pressure. She may have had ace jack. She may have had ace queen. She may have had a draw. He had the big ones. <laughs> Sienna's telling you three quarters, not two thirds. She, she, <laughs> you got jack ten off suit. Uh, jack and ten off suit. Limper in pot so far. We got the guy with. Okay, I you would just, check. Okay. Uh, 
I'm not gonna lie. The the ace scares me. Say what you're gonna do. I'm going to um, check. Okay. If you lead out there, he puts you on ace rag. You know that. But if you check, you can't win. Now it's complicated. Yeah, it's very complicated. What do you want to do? We got to check now. I mean, we can't bet out on the turn and lose our. You know, it's not our story is not going to make sense. And now we have to fold. Yeah, you. When you get heads up with somebody in an unraised pot, play the board. Make like the board hit you. Don't let them have the advantage. The person that bets first usually wins most of the time. You got four nine here. Four nine is a fold, even for right. just to. So if you bet into one person in a in an unraised pot, the likelihood of them having an ace, first of all, is slim. Although you know the guy the other little while ago he limped with pocket aces, but it's usually slim. And if you bet. You're probably going to take it down most of the time. There's queens. Everybody's getting good cards. You had your ace kings, but you haven't had big pairs. King three off suit. Uh, king three off suit is a fold. Okay. It is a fold, and you're, that's a good point. But before you say fold in this situation, you should always say, well, look, I'm on the button. If the next two guys before me both fold, I can go all in. Only poker me or I play horse could call me if they have a hand, so I'll take the chance and try to win two hundred and fifty dollars. So huh. don't dismiss the factor on the button till you see what other people do in front of you. Because uh -huh. there's there's opportunities to steal when you're short, but you still have a significant stack in that you know, you you you, you can make a difference to these guys with twelve hundred dollars and they they might be a little afraid of it. Here we're gonna get it all in and we're gonna find out what you would have been up against anyhow. All right, queen 10, king 10. Yeah, all in might get those guys out in that situation. Those were not stellar cards that they were playing. 4-2 off suit. Hey, that is a fold. Do you understand what I'm saying in that point? Don't yes. give up the position and, and say, oh, the lousy cards are going to fold. You still have well, X amount of percent you're going to win because nobody's going to call you because you have a substantial stack. It's not great, yeah. it's still substantial. And then you still could hit your cards or they all could fold. You know, you have lots of ways to win. Mm -hmm. There's more ways than just limping or or raising or, yeah, I end, yeah. When you play this back, and I hope that you've played your other one back, but when you play this back, you'll hear yourself, oh, look at this. They got it in. It's going to be a chop here, probably. Yeah, it is. The king mm -hmm. threes and the nine. But you'll hear yourself in the video, and, and maybe then you can make the adjustments because you'll you'll hear. Um, I did actually watch the queen, last one. Queen six. Queen six um, is a fold because right. there's four different there's four players behind tack. Well, it's, and the lousy cards. But listen, you got twelve hundred. You got thirteen big, big blinds right now. And the blinds are going to go up any, any second here. So you're in the shove mode anyhow. You're not looking for cards that are speculative. You're looking to put the pressure, especially in, you know being first in a pot. And if you double up, great. If you get knocked out, so be it. But you don't go blinding down like a lot of people do, and then they, they say, "Well, I ran out of chips." Well, you never played the chips you had. You never threatened anybody you were afraid to get knocked out you, you can't be afraid you have to take your shot when you can take your shot mm -hmm. when I when I took third in the tournament I was lines in, are up and you got Queen Jack off suit Queen Jack is a shove okay I, I would have folded this one I would have folded. I'll be honest with you I would have folded this one I'd rather go in with a pair or, or an ace you're going to get a call here, and you're probably going to have a counterfeit card. Two. Or you, get, you got a queen of clubs, so you got to redraw. That's not a good flop for you, though. Bad. You need the club to come off. Bad. Now you need to hope There's that neither one has a club. That's a flop, so they're afraid. I would say 10 might be the highest club out there. There's a king that's ah. going to be. And he hit threes, and then he get a full house. You'd have lost it even on the club. Yeah, yeah. So then it goes down to four because two get knocked out and they're you know on the bubble for the for the match. Mm -hmm. But I would have, like I said, I would have passed on the queen jack. You still had ten, eleven big blinds, and queen jack, as you know, I call aloha, 
Um, yeah, because it's, it's the goodbye hand. That's, and it well, just no, proved no, no, itself. No, 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 that's a different Aloha. Uh, this one is called, called Hawaii, actually. This was called Hawaii because if you don't play this hand, Queen Jack, for a year, you can afford it. With the money you save, you can afford a trip to Hawaii. Oh, really? It's, <laughs> it's that bad a hand. It's, it's, okay. It's, it's a losing hand. Now, if you if you were down in a 700 range, I would have said push. But you still had 1,200, and, and you mm -hmm. weren't even the big blind, and the big, big bl the blinds just went up. So you had two blinds that were rolling through you for 225. You still would have had $1,000 after the blinds if you didn't play that hand that time with the Jack Queen. And so you still would have had a chance to get in with an ace or a pair, and I think you'd had a better chance of, of winning this, this or getting back into this tournament and maybe winning it. Yeah, but I, I agree. Think, I think it was too early to push with, with Queen Jack there. I agree. All right? Yeah, yeah. Um, did we get some folks that came in? I know C.B. Swanson and Rob came in, and Kripney came in a little while ago as well. But lesson learned there, you know, you got knocked out early by misplaying some turn bets. Then you took over my cards, did all right, doubled back in, got got yourself up, but you still, it, it's a it's a when yeah. to push and when not to push. It's something that you're just going to have to get the feel for mm -hmm. as, as you go along. Yeah, um, yeah. Now, if you were to jump into a heads-up match right now, yeah, and, you know, get, getting off of this table, you know, let's say your horse is putting maximum pressure, and she's gonna. Mm -hmm. She's she knows everybody else is trying to get into money. This is where. Uh, oh, when you're if, she's if a you're, very if you're a big player. stack when it's like take, bubble, that's wonderful. Me? I said, if you're big stack when it's bubble, where okay, you've got four players and three get paid or whatever it may be, you can accumulate a ton of chips just because people want to get into the money. You too, but you have to find out who's doing that at the table and pick your spots because the one thing you don't want to do is fire and keep getting calling stations to call you and then you come off of your big stack and all of a sudden you're a medium stack and then you put yourself in a situation to lose rather than win. So you want to use your stack you know, efficiently and effectively, but you don't want to just waste the chips arbitrarily. See, mm -hmm. she folded right there um, and she she's waiting for a better spot to get her. Her money and you know she probably had bad cards and she knew that the button behind is is a little aggressive so she she saved some cards but what I was going to ask you is if if we go away from this tournament because you know you and I were in this tournament can you if if we would have put up another um, stream would would you have to kill the stream and start the stream again or can you just do it and put up a table if we I um, I can literally just open up the table, start the game, add that table, and I'm good to go. Okay. Um, all, basically, all I have to do is, um, I d technically don't even have to close this table. I could double table it, but I'm not going to do that. Um, all I got to do is say we go heads up, or whatever we play heads up. Right. Or me and Joe play heads up, or whatever. I can basically add that table into my OBS and it, it will keep recording. Okay. And do you have me on your buddy list? Uh, for full flush? No, I do not. If you add teach to the buddy list there, I'm going to register for a table. Rather than you try to find the heads up table and then you just have to click on the buddy list, find out where I am, and then just go to the table and register before somebody else does it. Okay. Um... I actually got a. Let me um. Do what you have to do before I register. We're gonna have to stop sharing. Okay. Because for some reason I can't. Uh... That's okay. Here we go. I don't want to share anyhow. No, no, no. Uh, close this. Um, go to buddy list and add. That's a capital T, T right? T E A C H. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Just put teach. Like T. And then once you, once you add it, get out of there. Get out of the buddy list. So that's spelled T E A C H, right? Right. Okay, we're going to add it. Okay. Now just leave the buddy list. Yep. Go back into the buddy list and find where I'm at and go to my table. Buddy list. 
You're, it doesn't say you're on anything. Get out again and go back in. Okay. Still does not say you're on anything. Ugh. I'm sitting in a 50 cent heads up sit and go. Okay, then we'll do it like this. Tournament. This one of two here? Yes. Uh, nope, that, that's not you on that one. Um, we'll go to this one. 50 here cents. Here we go. Register now. Okay. We are going to do this and do this. Okay, successfully registered. Thank you very much. Okay. So as soon as it comes up, then do your broadcast. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do here. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, tell me when you got it up, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to stall until then, To Yeah. Um, I got to check this so I'm not playing like a donk donk here. I'm going to get it up right now. Uh, add. A window capture. Uh, just call it HU. U. Oh my goodness. That's the one thing about heads up and trying to get this all together. Okay, um, are you, you have it up? <clears throat> yes, it is up, but I, I'm actually... Don't worry about this first hand. Stop checking so fast. We need the clock to go so you get the broadcast. Yeah, the, the table is now officially up, buddy. Okay, so they can see your cards... Um, don't talk about your cards or anything like that. I'm going to do most of the talking. You do, you do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. with your cards. How's that sound? Sounds very, very well. Okay. So um, I'm going to make a bet here uh, about that much. Move to... And I will show my um, cards. Hold up. You just bet, right? I bet. I'm, you have I'm going to go ahead and fold. Okay. You're going to fold. So I had 7-6 there, and of course, you didn't show any initiative to bet. If you would have shown any initiative, I'd have got out of Dodge. If you're not going to show any initiative, I'm going to take your money. Yep, yep. But you got to be careful because you show initiative, and, it's, and I think it's a phony initiative. I'm going to take your money, too. So, mm -hmm. you know, John, you. Yep. Okay. Um, although we have a lot of chips, $20 won't break me here. Um, I might, I'm going to call. Skip versus teach round one. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they sure. call. Okay, you bet eighty dollars. I'm gonna fold my three nine here. I just took a chance for the twenty dollars to see if I could hit something. Obviously, the flop was completely trash. Not for me, but for you, yes, it was. So I I raised to forty here. Yeah. Okay. Good job. You raised to forty, right? I did. 20 is not going to kill me to see us flop. Okay. I'm going to check back. Can I check it back to you? One more time, we'll give a check. Check at the bank. You're, oh, you're going to check the bank. So you, you check it. No, if you're going to check anywhere, check it. You check to the bank. Don't take your check to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm actually going to fold because you raising pre-flop like that, I put you on something like, I don't know, a queen, x, something like that, which is better than what I got. So, 10, 2? Well, you, I, I guess you were on the flush draw. I was on a flush draw, too. You was on a flush draw. And I hit the 2. I'm actually going to fold this. And yeah, I'm in position, so I just give you 10 chips. I know this. It's all right. The limits are going to go up here pretty quick. Mm-hmm. You see how it feels when I'm raising you every time you feel the pressure to decide what to do? That's what you got to do to your opponent. You can't 
you can't sit there and not do anything because you may have cards sometimes, sometimes you might not, and you just have to take take advantage of the situation. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll call you for that. Uh, Don't go. Ah, that's the that's a tell. Yeah, that that is a tell. Like, why'd you call me? But I I'm going I to. Call, I can call. Oh, I called you preflop. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I just did. I just bit into you there. Yeah, and I just checked to you. I now, wanted to see if you had anything. And I, now I'm going to do that. You are. Yes. What are you going to do, Teach? Are you going to raise all in? Yeah. What are you going to do, Teach? I'm just reading your voice. Um. Did you you hit the hearts? I might have a nine. Oh, I ain't worried about a nine. Ooh. But I am worried about a heart. So you've a, got Jack ten, huh? Oh, King Jack with no chance. Nice job. Uh huh. Nice fifty centers. Uh huh. <sighs> Uh -huh. The teacher schooled the student once again. Okay, well, let's go get another one of those puppies. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm I'm great with that, man. Um, let me actually, the table will go bye bye here for a second, I believe, but we'll get in another one of those. So now we got to come over here. Fifty cent heads up. Um, I'm in it. Yeah, I've got to find it here. Okay. Um, it'll actually help me if I just click, click, click. 50 cent heads up. Register now. Click this button and click that button. And hit OK. And then we're going to go right over here. Tell me when you get the table up and popping. Um, yep, I'm actually, uh, let's, uh, we're working on getting the table up right now. Okay. Possibly, uh, Drew should be able to help us later on and edit out the uh, the little things. I don't know how to do that, but you got uh, it up and going? Yes, it is actually up and going, but I do have to edit it here quick just to make no it. No problem. Take your time. Pretty I'm just stalling on the first hand. <clears throat> I choose to raise. Yeah, I choose to think that you hit uh, the jack or you have four hearts, and I'm going to fold my king six. You could take your auto muck off and show me your cards at the end of the hand as okay. I'm telling you my cards. Okay, yeah, I, I can do that for sure. I'll tell that you what I had there. I had an ace, ace nine suited, so I purely used position. Okay, that, no, fine. You had a, and you had a redraw for the straight. Mm-hmm. All right, table is perfect now, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fold that. I just don't. You can't fold early in a tournament heads up. It's too cheap to see. It's mm -hmm. not going to affect your stack. You've got to take a chance. You may un hit some unlikely card or something like that, but you got to. You can't just start folding arbitrarily. Mm-hmm. I would say that you possibly hit a six here. I would say you're a hundred percent wrong. Okay. And if that's the case, I'm still firing. Why? I'll take it away from you. I didn't get an option to show you. You have to take the auto muck off. It is off. Oh yeah, but you can't show me when you fold. Only when you call. Oh <laughs> okay. Or if I fold to you, you can show it. Oh, okay. Um, I had a ten four suited there. Okay. Um, I'm going to call. Oh, I'll see a flop with you with these two cards any day of the week. Oh, I'm sure. I'm 100% sure of that one. Um, I'm going to check back to you. And you're going to raise 40. And I'm going to say sayonara. Okay. 
And the reason I raised is because you didn't do anything. Of course, I didn't do anything. If you're gonna, not going to do anything, I'm going to take it from you. I'm going to teach you. you got to defend. you got to do something. Oh, yes. Most definitely, you got to do something. Okay. I, for 20 chips, I'll see a flop. Remember that last game, I hit the flush on the turn, and I checked, and you didn't pick up on the fact that I checked when that, that heart came, and then you started raising me and stuff. you got to give your opponent some credit sometimes for maybe trying to trap at these levels. Especially heads up. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and check back. I think you got queen nine. And since you're checking, I will go ahead and bet uh, that 180. Okay. Then I get a re-raise. Um... Ace. If you bluff me here, very good bluff. Oh, ace nine? Yep. Nice job. So all I did was sit back and let you do the bag for me there. Mm hmm. Yeah. I told you, heads up is honestly the weakest part of my game. Well, we're working on it right now. Mm hmm. For sure. Have you seen me limp into a pot? Nope, I have not. Have you seen me fold to your raise? No, was my raise too small? Does have it? you seen me fold? Not at all. Okay. I'm just pointing out some things here. You don't have a jack. Don't even try to tell me you have a jack. I'd say ace 10 or ace 9, maybe even king queen. Maximum pressure from the teacher. Good job. Not a good job, good hand. <laughs> what? Very you have? nice you hand. Have? I had ace queen suited. Ace queen, oh. Yep, ace queen suited. Okay. Now you you thought you had pressure before. Wait till now. Now that I got you three three times the chip amount. Mm-hmm. To grip me, um, we can do that. For sure. What What is the crypt me asking? I'm sorry. It wants a heads up round. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, here, I'm just going to go ahead and... Okay. Just by your delay, I can tell your hand is weak. By my delay, you can tell my hand is weak? Yeah, the way you're talking. The way I'm talking tells you my hand is weak? Absolutely. Oh, okay. I can pick up tells at the table by listening to people's voices and things like that. Mm -hmm. I can just tell if they're interested in the hand or if they're not interested in the hand. You're playing way too weak. you got to watch more of my videos. Yeah, I do got to watch more of your heads up videos. There's only 11 of them. And they don't take, some of them take two minutes, some of them take 15 minutes. There you go, but that's a bang bang. I'm, I can't call you with uh, King. I mean Jack Eight. Show yours. Oh yeah, uh, it was a Jack Four suited. Honestly, well, that was. I wouldn't say that that was the the big move there, but uh, that's a jeopardized move because if you could have ran into me, I could have afforded to call you in that situation. Very very true. It's a wet top end. I mean, 120. Now, what do you think I would fold here? You think I would fold Jack 10 here to 120? Do you think I'd fold two hearts here to, to 120? If you're really trying to get me out, you think I would pay 120 with those type hands? Most definitely. But that's when okay. we do this and we. Okay, it. if I got a chance to knock you out, I'm going to take a chance. 
I didn't get it. I had an open hand and a flush draw. I had a chance to get you out. The worst thing, I, I still have plenty of chips, but that's number one chance I had of knocking you out. I had to take mm -hmm. the chance. That's what you have to do. When you play heads up, you have to tell yourself, you got, you know, especially in a, in a tournament or something, that you got second place locked up, go for first place, okay? When you're playing just a heads up match, you always definitely want to put somebody all in if you can, if it's not going to uh, throw you out. Yeah. Two nine off suit. Uh, show my cards. Six king off. Can't I can't compete against you? I mean, you made a bet, and I got lousy cards. The majority of times, I'm gonna have to fold them. Uh -huh. If I had a name like you just suck, I might not be telling people the three bet. <laughs> oh. I'm talking about the chat. Oh, the chat. I see. Come on, come on. Oh, what do you get? King 10? That's a good card for you. It's an okay card. Okay. I'm going to check to you, buddy. If you check it to me, I'm betting $360. $360? Yeah, you can't do it with an open end here. It's too much money for the only one card to come. Let's do it. You got the king. Bam. Oh, he oh, got a bigger string. Damn. Oh, man, you won. I didn't now, win. You still have 130 chips. Oh, can you finish me <laughs> off? Can you finish me off? Uh, can I? I don't know. Let's. I'm going to call 30. No, you can't call 30. you got to go all in or fold. You don't give me money. Nope, I don't. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Come on, more hearts. Shit. Oh. oh! River, river! He wins, the, he wins the match. On the river. Got lucky. There you go. There yeah. you go. Yeah. All right. One last one for the crowd that's clamoring for a, a rubber match, okay? Okay. They want, they want one more. We'll do one more. One more match for the... Well, we could jump into a four-person sit and go and let two of them jump in and find us. Let's do that. Yeah, we could do something like that for sure. I'm in now, and you just have to find it. Um. Okay, so this will be sit and go, some, which means i got to pull up multi-table, four peoples enrolled, two people, two people. All I see is two people. Oh, that's because I have heads up. Just freaking single. Six, 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 six. I see a bunch of sixes, just no fours. There's a four. What's the buy-in for it? Fifty cent. Fifty cent. One of four, right here. I see it. We're gonna register like this. On these four, is it winner take all? Teach. No, it's first and second. First and second on a four. Person. No, it's first. No, it's only first. Oh, I'm sorry. Two dollars to first place. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, Mr. I.E. Tuna joined us. Okay, that's good. We got one more seat open. We'll see if anybody else. Mm hmm. I don't Come know. Come get the third and final seat. It's only 50 cents. The Crypto said he wanted a little piece of the action. Yeah, you want some action? Come take some action, buddy. Okay, so what did you get from the first two heads up? You played a little too passive in the first one. You started playing a little bit more aggressive in the second, and all of a sudden there was different results. You can't I, let somebody... I, yes, I noticed that you cannot let somebody run over you. They'll push you around, so I want you to be able to play back. But don't, you know, play back with just... No, okay, we got Decrypney in here too. All right, now all we'll right. Have, have a good time. Give me a couple of seconds here to... Okay, I am going to take my auto muck off. You get the table ready, and I want everybody else to take. So if they're in the final thing, they can show their cards. Since we all agree to that, mm -hmm. um, and if everybody's out of the hands, we can we can do some talking. Okay, so I'm going to uh, hold here, and Decrypne is going to have the, the stick. 
to grip me. Oh no. Hey, He'll it, show it, every it, hand too. It so. popped up automatically. I like that. You got it all set? Pretty close. I just got to get the frame push. it. Yeah, I got to get the frame it thingy here. Okay, we're doing this, and we're doing this, and we're going. Uh... Yeah, we're good. We're good now. Table's up. All right, all right. So we got uh, four of us in here with twelve hundred dollars each and a ten twenty. See, Limit 10, and the crypting raises it up to that's, nine bucks. That's, that's a little too think. much on my hand, so I'm gonna fold. Well, that's exactly what he's thinking in that situation is that it's a little bit uh, too much. Just a small. A and he time. wants you to get the hell out of that. He, did he show then what his cards were? I don't think he did. No, he needs to have his auto muck up. I I would say he had uh, ace ten or king. Jack or King Queen, something, something in that range. Yeah, I, I folded uh, Queen Jack there. Okay. To his raise. Right. And yeah, I know it's pretty good when there's only two players in the pot, but still, I mean. Yeah. Skips first. Automatically fold. Folds. See if Tuna puts any pressure on. They are really that bad of cards, buddy. So he bets fifty dollars here. I have nothing, so I can't call. Let's see what Decrypty does. Is Decrypt me and Tuna going to? Uh... Yeah, they're showing. No, that it's cool that they're showing or whatever. I was saying, are they gonna like make fireworks between the two of them? No, 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 no. <laughs> no fireworks. Yeah. Somebody should bet, though. Usually here with this pot, first person that bets eighty or ninety dollars is gonna take it down. <laughs> Eighty-two, it. and then gets a call. So he liked that nine. All of a sudden, ah, he liked that nine. That was a quick call on his part. Nine or a four, maybe. Well, maybe the nine gave him a straight draw with a seven. Maybe the nine gave him a flush draw with the two nines. He had the five, so he had a straight draw, and he had an over card. But that was a quick call on his part. Uh, I, I think if in his position, I, I think if he would have taken that fast a, an action and, and went over the top of the Kripni by, oh, maybe three times his bet, I think he'd have taken it down right at that, that point anyhow. I think the Kripni would have folded up. Now I'm heads up against the Kripni. He bets... Four times, yeah, like four times what the pot is. So, once again, I'm going to fold. What'd you fold? I folded a 5 6 suited to his fold. 9 king suited. Ain't no way I fold 5 6 suited in that situation. But that's a good hand. Against somebody that's got two wild cards in a, in a, in a short table like this, 5 6 suited, you could hit a monster and take somebody out with a 5 6 suited. Remember, you still got a little bit of money to, to, to splash around with, so you have to All get... All right, bud. Good luck. I hope you have a good hand to crit me. I'm sick of you raising me. You're going to have the pressure put on you, period. That's a tell. That's a tell. I would say you got queens, or you got kings, or you got ace-king. And they're on the delay, so you can say it. I have an ace-nine off. Ooh. But he's pushed me every single hand. I'll be nice well, and show him the card. Yeah. There you go. It's not enough. I thought you were stronger. I thought you were stronger. But you made me think you were stronger because of your bet. And you made him think it too. <clears throat> yeah, it's all right, Rob. Sometimes the uh, uh, 2 7, I can't call you. 5 6, I'd have called you, though. We're still showing, right? Yeah. Queen 9. Off. You're way ahead of me. Welcome, J. Q. H. I better actually do TV. that. We're playing four-handed. We all are on the on the same table. Al just limps in, hoping that the is going to go up over the top of me. 
Does Al have ace-10, ace-king somewhere in that neighborhood? Maybe even pocket fives, considering it's heads up. <laughs> How about 3-2? Three, 3-2? Two. Three, two? Three, two. There you go, 2-3. You need a five. Or you could have a... Uh... He can't bet 3-20 without having something here, because it's going to really make him short. He wants to stick around. <laughs> wow, power of position, I guess, huh? Well, that was because I faked being weak. And he fell for it. I was weak. But I had to show like I had the strength. When a person be, all of a sudden is quiet, they're getting ready to make a big bet. <laughs> you didn't hear a word out of Skipper. Then. Yeah, sorry if I'm being silent. That's just what I do. You didn't raise preflop, so you don't have ace jack. You were probably raised with king jack. You were probably raised with. So I think you got Jack eight or Jack nine, maybe even Jack six here. Jack nine seems to fit. Maybe ten nine seems to fit. I'm folding my hand here. Show it. Queen six. Off. Queen six. Hmm. You just went off of what I said that time, right? I set you up for winning that time. You gave me an idea, you know, yep. figuring, well, I got a bet so I can show that I have a hand. Yeah. Um, did you, you raised correct, or is that just what? No, yeah. that $75 out there means uh, I, I like you a lot. It's not a raise, it's just a, I like you a lot. That's an I like you a lot slash I have two better cards than Skippy, so I'm folding. <laughs> you, you can't just say, I like you, please call with my nine deuce off. No, ain't happening. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to take a page out of Teach's book here. Ah, uh, he's coming in here. Ah, uh, he's coming in? Ah, uh, he's coming in this one. Is he? 75 wasn't quite enough? No, he didn't come. No, 75 wasn't enough to get me out, that's for sure. Hmm. 75 wasn't enough. Is 165 enough to get you out yet? No, no. Hmm. And then you just shove. Aren't you wonderful? So that basically means my four. Okay, let's see. I have four. What do you outs. have? What do you have? I have eight percent chance of hitting. What my do you card. have? I'm going to fold. What, what do, do I have? have? I had a queen king. With an eight percent chance. I think if there were technically four left. That's correct. If there were four tens left, if a ten was not folded, I had eight percent chance of hitting All my right. card. And I'm not going to risk, um, what was it, a 900 chip bet or so for a 4% chance, or an 8% chance, sorry. <clears throat> and you had a jack something off, correct? I'm going to make him believe I have an ace or a king here. Let me guess, in reality you have a 2-3? I have a 6. <laughs> a 6. Hey, you know what, it's probably good. Heads up, your six was probably good. Mm. Here he comes, walking two, down the street. Two He's going to the day, and now he raised oh, sixty. Street. Here's the sad part: is he doing this because he wants a call? Doesn't matter. It's thirty bucks. Your have position. Call him. <laughs> well, now I definitely have position. 
You're in that position anyhow. Yeah. He doesn't want to call. I do want to call. No, if he doesn't want to call, raise him. Okay. If he <laughs> doesn't want to call, raise him. If a him. person puts a bet out that looks like I don't want to call, then raise them. Yeah, you have to raise. He didn't want to call. Look at those cards. Oh, I need six, yeah. I would Come have, on. It would have been mine if uh, I would have grown a pair. You've got to pick up on those tails. Uh -huh. You've got a whole pot. Why would he bet a whole pot with a board like that? He doesn't want nobody in there. Tuna hadn't played much of anything. No, I, I think honestly, Tuna is waiting for premiums, and he's. I think he's. I think he's a star kiss Tuna man. He's for sure not chicken of the sea, is he? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm in position, so I'm gonna do something along this neighborhood. Yay! Um. And can I take it? The question I have to ask myself here: I'm out of position. Can I take it away from you with this hand? Probably could, but I'm going to fold my five-two. Okay, and I most likely would have called. Oh no, I didn't mean there. I meant on the flop. Oh, on the flop. Depending on where it happened, you that's, might have been able to take it away. Yes, that's right. That's a, that's what I'm thinking when I'm when I'm going to make my bet. I'm thinking, what can I do later on by barreling or anything like that? I'm trying to think. How can I take it with my position away from the person, you know, their range of hands? I folded 10-3. I showed what I had. Uh-huh. He's going to push pretty soon. Not then, pretty soon. Yep, you will notice as the job. blinds go up, people will tend to play a little bit better cards. When they're early on, or when it's late, when it's heads up, everybody's reduced to playing, you know, like one card or uh, um, just bets making the difference. As we go in towards the middle here, it'll be more about cards. What do you have? He can't hear you. I have an ace deuce and now I have to bet because then it'll look like I have You have what? I have an ace deuce off. Okay, but what did you say you wanted to make him think you hit? I wanted to make him think I had a 10 even though it, to me that that board right there was a dry board. I well, was I was that, first to it, I was first to raise act. because you raise pre-flop to indicate you got something. Whether you hit the board or not, they may think you have a pair. So continuing to bet makes them weary. I have queen three here. Uh, I had king two suited. Yeah, uh, CB, I think you're right. I think he's tied it in a bullfrog's ass. <laughs> Either that uh, or he's more scared than, okay, a yeah. than, than a hook. I only have well. a three here. Only a three. Up. Just a pair of threes. And queen three. I folded that hand purely because I'm not going to limp with it. I'm limping with jack three here. If he raises, I'll throw it away. Unless he goes to 80, I'll call. Yeah, you kind of can't min raise. I mean, well, there you go. Checking my jack, I'll check, raise them all in. Uh huh. Ah, uh, backfired. I can't do anything now. Too many hearts, two and an over card. This is just to test the waters. Maybe I should have played my hand there, but I can't be results oriented. Nope. <clears throat> Yep. I'm out. For that Come size on. of bet, I have to. I'm just going to fold it. What'd you fold? 10 5 off. 
Okay. Heads up. I think everybody's waiting to get a little of that sushi sitting to the right of me. Something. Want a piece of sushi? Twenty forties. The crip, I'm telling you, he's gonna go all in one of these times right now. He's, he's That's just four times my my small blind. What? Eh, huh? You really gotta raise my small blind of all people? Okay. What do you want me to do with ten jack? Um, <laughs> call forty so I can call with nah, my nah, two nah. Nine, so I can call with my two uh, nine and suck out on you. No, no, no. That's that's what I'd like to see you do. Ah, oh, he just raised. If I'm gonna play this. I don't know. I mean, I, I do like the hand, but I think because of that raise, I'm going to fold. Even though I got position, I like the hand because I would have had to shove. Basically, I think he's got ace-9, ace-10, or pocket-7. Which is probably better than, which was better than my hand. Oh, ace, a 10 king. Ace, ace, had, yeah, king-10 fits in the group. That's that's good enough. I had an ace-6 suited. Yeah, you were ahead of him. Yeah, too. I was. Yep, got the ace-22. I would have shoved, and then you know darn well he maybe would have called. Then again, he could have folded. But my only play there was to play back at him. Was to sh if I was to play, was to shove, or re-raise. Well, okay, then if I re-raise, he's so damn short that you kind of have to. Yeah. I'm betting a ten here. I got ten four. Hmm, cool. He comes over the top. I'm gonna come over the top of him really fast. Prove to him I got the ace. Huh? That was my plan. Awesome. But he folded like a cheap tent. <laughs> no. Hey, by the way, Rob, I know you're listening. Kmart called your suits already. <laughs> Kmart I, told I, I got to take a shot at him. He beat me in a, he beat me in a hand the other night and heads up. Ah, I, I see. Oh, now now the tuna guy decides to raise. Well, then you know he's got a big hand. Here. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. He hasn't played, but... Ace like, Jack. Oh, baby, my I goodness. Oh, he didn't show. Come on, tuna. It's okay. We're showing you, giving you all this information, and you're going to be playing like that? Come on. Uh, yes. it's, it's all good. Yes. I'm just yes. going to I'm just gonna grill and saute the tuna. We're not showing you to give you an advantage. We're all doing it. Let's see. Here's it's what I'm going to do in this it. position because I, I need to teach his money. My God. I got to fold my jack nine of hearts to your what? Ace jack or pocket tens? What is it? Uh, you're close. Ace queen off. Oh, ace queen off. Okay. That's a big, that's a monster. That's a monster. Now the limits are going up. Watch out for Decrypne. He's got uh, 10. 15 big blinds, so mm. next next go round he's going to be shoving a lot more off. 250. Yeah, 250. You got King Queen, Ace, Ace Nine, Pocket Pair, something. What do you got? I can't see. Honestly, I am. Uh, he is going all in right here. What do you have? I, I can't have King Jack. Okay. He's got, he's got you. You need a heart. No heart for Skiffy. Fucking A. That's all good. Excuse my language. Sorry, iTunes. What he is? told you pre floppy had a hand. He told me pre floppy had a hand? Didn't he raise? No. He Who called did? my raise. I raised. Oh. He and called think... my raise. Oh. And well, how big was your raise? 250 chips. Does that not tell you that he's got a good hand? Yes, it should have told me he has a good hand. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you ask a question with your bat and somebody responds, you've got to listen to the response. I had Jack, too. Yeah. Um, now I can be picked on. So I don't know if I can actually... Um, Remember, you're talking, but I can't tell what your cards are. They can, I can't. So you have to tell me. It's a four nine off. I mean, uh, no question. But I'm so damn sure. Well, I would have called there. I tell, you, I tell you why I would have called. He had those cards. You had sixty dollars in the pot. 
you could double up. You had probably two live cards. He's not going to have either one of those cards. If you hit one of those two cards, you double up. Now you're down to 50. Now you got to triple up to get back in. So when you got 60 bucks in there, you just go with any two. And you hope the guy has high cards, just not a pair, and that you hit something. So you're going to get an automatic call here. You've got the, the highest card. He hits the 10. Now you have to hit the jack or the 8. Nope. I had 10-7. I'd have full boated. <laughs> ah, I see. I'm going to leave this table up because you're playing? Oh, yeah. Leave it up so all of us. So, so we can. can see who the winner is because apparently my king high flush draw was killed by queens. Well, you got, beat I, by sushi. you got beat by a sushi. Yeah. Yes, I got beat by tuna, man. I wanted to grill him, and he, he turned out and said, no, I'm the griller today. I'm the chef. All right, six four. See, I, I don't know if you know. I'm not gonna say anything more. But we're showing our cards for a reason here, and, and, and he's not. So, uh, I don't know if I should even. If he doesn't want to do that, that 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 ruins it for the people that are watching because they like to hear what I have to say or they like to see Decrypty and I show the cards because they're trying to learn. But uh, if he doesn't want to show, it doesn't serve. Uh, Jerry and I. Ah. Yeah. I think that's a pair or a nice ace. I, I would say ace, queen, ace, king, somewhere around there. Oh, oh jack eight. Hold it off with jack eight. Maybe he's opening his range because you guys are three-handed now. No. Yeah. No? I think sometimes I overthink things. He doesn't have to go all in anymore. He's got 1,200 chips, and the big blinds are plenty right now. Hmm. He check, I bet. Any calls. Checks, I bet. Any calls. I've got the seven only. Oh, and then he puts the big bet on the river. Can't go. Yeah. Any low card at call or go I wonder, on? I wonder what he had there, honestly. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize to those that are, are listening on the East Side Radio because the whole idea was to get people in here that wanted to help us out and make a video and, and not worry about the 50 cents. My bad, folks. All right, we got down to sixty is for me. I got ten, twelve, fourteen. King Queen. Well, right here, I, I'm going to fold, <clears throat> fold my 6 9. He's not hearing me or anything like that, but um, I'm giving him time to think about whether he wants to call the 200 or not. I'm just buying him extra time, so the pressure is not on him. And I think. Uh, the guy ah he left the chat so he's not hearing us ah I see king queen we'll get hot and fast right now it goes 200, 
now that he's like got a massive lead, you can see him just being more aggressive more and more and more and more and more. True. I'm limping with ace seven, hoping it'll show. Didn't do it. Well, if he checks, of course you're gonna bet here, correct? No, nope. I want to make. Uh, I want. <laughs> I chopped it. With, now he might even have a six. Ah, uh, uh, very good um control there, as far as to not go and not shove. I'm trying to trap. I'm trying to double up through him. I'm trying to make him believe I don't have what I have. Mm -hmm. But he, even if you had, even if you had the ace, it would. Now, if you would have bet that ace on the flop, he would have stuck. He would have stuck around. Would have he? Yeah, he had the three five. He had a draw. He would have taken a card off of his deck. I'm sure. Holding king four. Crippney said he was uh, knocked off. His laptop ran out of power. Ah, that sucks. That really does bite. I think, yeah, he's going to push here. You can't, you can't, you can't just put a three hundred dollar bet out there and lose that much money. This way, he has a little bit of gold equity in. Like I respect that you guys are uh, you and. The crit me are showing, but I mean, like, why show if I he won't? You know what I mean? I know that's an advantage, and he had the advantage the whole the whole time. And we were trying to demonstrate, and so that the people in the chat would would get it, but he didn't. He doesn't understand that, I guess, and he left chat. So <sighs> nothing you can do about. It. Okay, I got queen four. <laughs> Clean four. Any arts? <laughs> Not a single one, because I'm sure if you had two, you might um, just. Oh look, he showed his cards. Yay! Showed the showed the eight seven. Yeah. Two hundred. <laughs> Holding my eight six. I thought eight six was a good hand three handed. <laughs> I'm, not saying, to I'm, I'm saying that no not to a raise, but I'm saying that because like you could possibly flop a straight. Oh, it's not a bad hand, but you know, you just can't when you're only got eight hundred and ninety five dollars, it's either all in. I'm not going all in with eight six if I can No, 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 I wouldn't expect that. Not at all. I'm trying to get all in with something halfway decent. Mm, so what like what is the Lowest range, like uh, what, like maybe pocket sixes would be lowest. Any pocket pair I'm in, any ace I'm in, any uh, suited connector I'm in. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call here. Just I'm, I needed to hit. Uh, I do not have a heart. I do. Uh, yes, I do have a three of hearts. I'm just trying to take this away from him. Mm-hmm. Have a three of hearts. First bet, pressure. There you go. <laughs> Show the four card busted flush. <laughs> nice job. Hold the nine four. Well, of course. Of diamonds. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's a good thing because if them diamonds hit, you'd be like, oh yeah, and then he, the crit me, be like, oh hell yeah. <laughs> good fold. He's going to push. Nope. It's hard for two not to call here. Um, if he's got a decent hand, he's going to come over the top because they see, because the, the likelihood of his opponent having a good hand is not is not there. So if he's got a good hand, Tuna should push there. Very, That's good, what very good play by him, but now the crit me just... Lost a hundred and sixty. 
I mean, he well, asked his opponent a question. His opponent should demand his doesn't face. Have anything. Yeah, yeah. Pocket nines. Okay. Yeah, see. Uh oh, they're in trouble, baby. Ace jack for me. That's three handed. That's a. a you know, I can't. Even if somebody comes in first, I, I can't walk away. This their range is so far wide, wider than ace jack that I got to push with it and just take my chances and hope. You know, I get the right match. The best thing would be. Well, ace jack is hopefully somebody calls me with ace six and that's jack against six. Folding queen jack here. Remember that queen jack you pushed with the other minute ago, the other turn. Yep, and you folded queen jack. I am not for a raise jack. for a for two hundred dollars more. Oh, it's two hundred more. So it's. And it could be the best hand. It's the best hand, but I can't do it. I can go all in, but I can't call. Now, if you were to go all in, not saying you're going to because you he would have folded. He would fold eight six. I don't fold. think he calls. He can tell. Well, he's not in chat, so he can't tell us. That's why I like it when I I conduct it. I I do a free class. I'm doing one this Saturday. I think I'll put it up on Facebook. But I do a uh, a single table tournament. Or either six player or ten player, tell them, depending on how many people show up, or I'll do a cash game. But we'll do it in a heartbeat poker or cash game uh, scenario. And everybody will be on Skype, so everybody can, can talk, everybody can show, and everybody agrees to that ahead of time. And, and we really learn a lot that way. I would like to join one of those. When is that going to be? I think it's going to be Saturday. i got to check my calendar. I think it'll be Saturday, probably at 10 o'clock. 10 a.m.? 10 a.m., I think so. So this that week. means it'll be 9 a.m. my time. Oh, boy. Every time I get a good hand, these guys are like sheep. <laughs> uh, this is definitely eight. a... JQH TV stayed in here and we're appreciate to, the support. We're up to nine viewers and um yeah. You have nine viewers. Are you talking about over Heartbeat or on 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 uh, Ace we, High Radio? We went on Ace High Radio Twitch. We went from nine down to seven. Uh huh. So I mean, now I do have the stream in the background muted on the Ace High Radio page so technically we made eight viewers because i'm counted as one of them viewers i'm gonna call i think he's got a really good hand here i'm hoping i, I get one of my cards jack or seven i push i think he's got high cards i think he missed this completely and you hit your one card so of course i have one card Ooh, quick too quick ah too quick i need help he got me I, all right good um, hand. Well, I'm actually going to stick around here, and that way they can... Yeah, let them, finish see. Up. let them finish up and see what happens. Yep. It's either going to be decrypt me or Ahi. Good luck to both of you. I hope you all... Uh, I wish you both the best of luck. Somebody win that $2. <laughs> yeah, winner take all of these four-player tables. Mm-hmm. It's good practice, though. To be in, for 50 cents, it, it really simulates final table action, so... Oh, the blinds are low when you start out. Somebody like Swanson, and I'm telling you, and Rob, you, you have to adjust. Now is when you're up in the 51, you're really getting down. But they don't give you enough chips to start with, so therefore it, it kind of throws it off. I used to have a, a thing called triple play over at some of the sites I worked at where it's just three players, and you started with huge stacks, but the blinds started high as well. So in other words, the blinds may have started at 100, 200, but you all had like 10,000 chips. So it gave you a little maneuverability, but you still had to play it three-handed. That that is very interesting, and I do I do appreciate playing the heads up today, mm -hmm. because like I said, even when I do make the money, like when I did the other day, once I get head once I get heads up, unfortunately I have to admit I'm like a deer in headlights. You know what I mean? Where it's like, what what do I do? Well, I think what you need to do tomorrow. If you're not broadcasting live, is you need to go through all my heads up videos, eleven of them or so I got up there, and just listen. You know, a lot of them are, are really quick, 
and you'll, they'll be over within 10 minutes, and some of them are a little bit long, but none of them will last that long. And just listen to me. Watch the cards I have and, and see as the blinds go up what, how I change my voice and how I you know, pick up the aggression or how I pick up things on the opponent, what they're doing to, you know, in, in, re, in regards to my attempts to, to move them off of hands. Mm -hmm. Man, Ahi's got a massive chip lead, but that absolutely means nothing. No, one double up and it's even. One yeah. double up and it's even. Uh-huh. So, Decrypt me here has, uh... I'm trying to figure out, like, in my head without using a calculator, how many blinds he's got. Well, you just take a number arbitrarily. Just take like five or six, and you multiply it down to one hundred and fifty, and that's nine hundred. So it's close enough to know it's five or six big blinds. Mm-hmm. That's one thing that, honestly, out of all my schooling, I'm I'm noticing like um, math. Is something that I use on a daily basis, especially playing cards. More so since I started playing cards. Most math players, most people that have a good math background, make excellent poker players because they figure out odds and they they're aware of situations, they're aware of the numbers, and that really helps somebody accelerate, especially when they're first starting out. Those that don't have or weaker in the math skills usually take a longer time to, to pick I, it up. Myself, I, I'm quite a bit weak when it comes to math skills. That's like my little brother came in. He's um, about nine years younger than me. And uh, he was talking. He's like, well, when do we need multiplication and division and all this? I'm like, well, how do you think we figure out blinds and poker, buddy? You know, that's what I use it for. But, I mean, it can be used in several other things besides just poker. Math is just a good skill to have in general. Come on, guys. He's too suited. He's what the Crippy needs to do, in my opinion, is ah, he's not listening here. He needs to limp into some pots with more to set him up with a, with a more powerful hand. He's getting tuned to, to fold, and any pressure tuned is just getting away from the pressure. So. Let let Tuna take the lead. I think Tuna's got at least a ten here. Hmm. <clears throat> Stop showing again. Don't show no more to Kripney. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if one guy, you know, that he ran up his he ran up his uh, stack early because we we showed him all you know how we were playing. Now he doesn't want to. I mean, that's okay to me. That's right. To me, it was only a fifty cent game. I mean, come on. Now, if so, it was like a twenty dollar game, then no, I'd... it's okay. it's okay. When we do the next one, we'll make sure that everybody understands no advantages. We're we're trying to just use it as a training thing and showing. Just for example, that's what I said. When we do it on Saturday, we get everybody. Oh, I get people in there that that agree to that, and it, 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 and they all get them on Skype too, so they all have a an input, and it's a yep. Great time. In I, fact, there might be one of them up on my uh, playlist. I think I take one of those as well. Oh, did you? I I enjoyed the last one that I joined. Yeah, that was a six. Was that the six player? I I believe that was the six player. Yes. It was like me, you, and a couple other people. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that one. Honestly, lately I've I've enjoyed every session we've done. Here it is. A six against the six two. Guess who's got a double up now? Nice nice hand to crit me. Both both not powerful hands, but heads up or you know, <laughs> play them like the nuts, I guess. <laughs> Or 
I see. Now, let's see what Jerry does now that he has the lead. See it? The, the, the thing interesting to see when you're in, a, in an event like this is how does the other player play when they got more chips than when they are got less chips and see if they choose their spots or they continue to put pressure. So it would be interesting. He, Jerry can hear us and so can tune in now. I think he's back in here. Yeah. I think the 300 is light. I think he's going to get a call there from any two cards. I think at this stage you want to go a little bit more than, than the men raise here. Here it is. Four seven is a full boat. That is the game oh, yeah. set match winner yeah. champion yeah. set of the trophy. <laughs> right. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the session today. We had a double barreled uh, ten player and a couple of heads up, and then a four player. So we action packed a two hour session. And uh, thank you all for participating. Thank you, Skippy, and continue the journey. Thank you, everybody. Y'all have very, have a very good afternoon, evening. Good luck at your tables. Um, remember that uh, just have fun. All right. See y'all later.